Hey everybody, Martin here, your favorite Regina Realtor, and I'm sure you have seen in the news right now, there's a lot of doom and gloom stuff going on, I'm talking about how the real estate market in Canada is uh, uh, falling apart, the prices are down, in some cases by $300,000 or like 7-8%, uh, it's absolute madness, and the bubble's bursting and that kind of thing. So I wanted to address that uh, based on our Regina market, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so I wanted to quickly talk to you about uh, what's happening in the Regina real estate market as, uh, as pertaining to basically uh, all this news media and all this stuff that's going on right now. And I know you're probably hearing that uh, both uh, Vancouver and Toronto are, are, are going crazy and the, the prices are dropping by hundreds of thousands of dollars and people are walking away from deals and that kind of stuff. Uh, and it can be a little bit daunting and a little bit scary. So I wanted to look at the numbers for you, my Regina clients, uh, just so that you understand what's happening and how that's uh, going to affect us or is affecting us, okay? So I've got all the stats right here uh, and I just wanted to talk to you about it, just bring it to you straight up so that you understand. So basically, uh, I, I wanted to wait for the June stats to come out because I wanted to, to, to see how the year is panning out so far. And let me tell you something, um, in June, like, 2118 properties have sold in Regina okay uh, that's uh, that's all of uh, that's all of 2022 uh, so sorry I said in June but I mean by the end of June uh, 2118 properties have sold um, on average the list price is about uh, three hundred twenty nine thousand eight hundred fifty two dollars and the average sale price was three hundred twenty four thousand twenty four dollars 44 days on the market um, that's really good for us I mean that's still really like that's one of our higher uh, average prices so uh, so far the year's been doing really really good not an issue and that's um, that's a lot of properties that have sold so uh, so far so good right like and if I look at June by itself in 2022 like uh, your average 1233 uh, square foot house which is kind of the average house that's sold um, talking about uh, list price of 331 304 and then a an, uh, sale price of 325,676. That's just June and it's for 503 properties. So it really isn't that bad, right? I mean, like that's really, really okay for us. And that's June, so already interest rates are up. Uh, people are getting, you know, uh, of locked in five year rate of three and whatever. Uh, you're not getting these one and a half, two percent rates. And the, they're still buying these homes. And actually in June, the days on market were down to 37. So. It isn't that bad, right? And I mean, even if I look at um, uh, June in general, like let's let's just let's just take the last. I ran the stats for seven years, so uh, I wanted you to kind of understand where we we're sort of landing here. So uh, from 2015 on, like June, the average numbers, uh, even in the high months, like 350, 340, uh, then the lower months, like uh, when we kind of started to taper off in 2017, it's like 300, 295, 258, uh, and then. Um, when 2020 hit, of course, that was the was beginning of the new boom. So then June was like 386 uh, and 418. Uh, but like, if you look at um, so far, like year to date in June, like 503 properties have sold, like in June of 2022, 503. So that's crazy. That's like way higher than the other month. So it, even with the even with the high interest rates and the slowdown and the doom and gloom and boom ending and the bubbles bursting and the world is ending, get out, run away, you're gonna lose everything on your house. Sales are at a record high, like it's crazy. And um, like look at these, like the average price, I mean, average price for June 2021 was 3, 335. Yeah, that's high, that's good price. But I mean, it was, what did I say, 325? So I mean, $10,000. Yeah, and that, that's that's not really enough even of a price change to say, oh well, you know, it's down because ten thousand dollars that that could that just maybe means that a uh, one point two million dollar house that sold last year in June maybe didn't sell this year in June, but maybe it's gonna sell in July or, or whatever. Like it can skew these uh, these numbers a little bit, so you got to give it a little bit of leeway. So I don't know. I mean, frankly, to be perfectly honest, I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. You know, we'll see what happens in the latter part of this year. Uh, 2022 is still doing great. Lots of sales. Uh, people are still out there looking at houses, buying houses. Uh, stuff is selling and selling for good money. I mean, yeah, I have noticed that there's fewer multiple offers going on. Like earlier this year when we had like 
eight offers on one house and 10 offers on another and buyers are constantly losing out and it was frustrating. Nowadays, I don't see it as much, but still a great property will sell for good money and a lot of times still over asking price. So listen, don't freak out, everything's okay. And on a side note, I did speak with my mortgage broker uh, last week, we had a nice breakfast, we talked about uh, what's happening with interest rates. He predicts that uh, we're gonna see maybe another couple of, uh, of uh, couple raises from the uh, Bank of Canada on the interest rate this year, but then things should start taper off and balance out by the second quarter of next year. Don't quote me on that, but this is uh, this is what my mortgage broker says, and I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want him to get in trouble, but this is what I'm saying I have heard. So listen, don't worry about it. Uh, let's just uh, keep calm and ignore the news because it's just a bunch of uh, click, clickbait, okay? So let's not freak out, let's enjoy the summer. And of course, if you have any questions, all the information is below in this video. So uh, text me, call me. Uh, book an appointment, email me, whatever. I always love to hear from you. I always love the comments and I'll answer them when I can. Uh, it's still really busy and I have a 14 month old kid, so that takes up a lot of time. Anyway, I uh, really enjoy making these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Take care and let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.